Virgo, welcome to your last um, three months of the year forecast. And this is for October, November, and December. Let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Hmm. Good communications. It looks like this month. Um, if you're going through some legal battles or some, you know, some pending legal stuff, discussions, contracts, or anything that is related to banking, government, or legal, it will finally be coming to an end this month, okay? This month of October. There will also be some good news. So, at least that you will have somewhat good month. Unlike the others who will be going through some very tough times during this retrograde. Okay. You're feeling a little bit lost when it comes to your career. You don't even know what is your real direction. Sometimes you feel like you're working and working and working. But what is the real direction and purpose of this? Now this month you will also be questioning yourself if you're really on the right track. And we'll look more into its details after doing all the spreads. Oh, you're feeling a little bit stressed out when it comes to your uh, to your career as well. Dealing with an air sign from the past, and it seems like this person has lied to you in the past, and this person will still lie to you again this time. Nothing's gonna change. All right, looks like this month you will be receiving some good news, okay? Especially if you've been battling with an air sign or fire sign for how many months and um, if you've been like, you know, getting a little bit, how many months or how many years? And if you've been getting a little bit stressed out, spreading yourself thin just to get this over and done with. And finally, you know, the final, uh, looks like the verdict will be coming down this month and it will be in your favor you will be walking away with pride even though i don't feel like you're going to be getting much but at least that there will be some compensation that you'll be getting or that you will have at least more peace of mind okay you will be the winner now some of you will also be dealing with some uh child custody and child support and if you're currently dealing with these two signs, air and fire, expect that the f no the air sign will be walking away. The fire sign will actually cooperate with you in exchange for something. Okay, this person still wants to have consistent communications with you, and sometimes sex here and there, which you feel like nope, you know that that ain't gonna happen. So. You feel like it's much better for you to get it from your own pocket than to rely on this people who will keep on making your life more miserable. Okay, but there will be an unexpected blessings or unexpected finances that will come from an unknown source or, yeah, this month and you'll be very surprised. Okay, 
you feel like that you would rather have it you know in your own struggle than to beg from this man from this people's um you know um awe and uh, responsibilities which is supposedly that is their responsibility now you're gonna be a little bit stressed out when it comes to your workplace and you don't even know if you're really in the right track you are starting to question yourself whether you are in the right path or maybe that there is still another path that you don't really seem to find but you just needed somebody to steer you there okay there will be some old files old stuff and i feel like some of you will be you know redoing and recycling your cv or your resume and somehow you'll be you know like sticking around to your faith this month and pray that the universe will take you to your rightful path you also need to relax a little bit because the more you think about your problems the more the answer won't come now you will be landing yourself your first interview and around the middle of this month and the third but i feel like um well it will be around the end of this month that you'll be called in for the final and acceptance and it seems like you will be rejoicing by the end of this month for um for getting a new job okay i feel like third week some of you will be finally signing a new contract and will be um starting a new job some of you will also decide to sell off your house or to sell off your properties or to buy a new property to move to a new place now when it comes to your love life you're thinking about this person from the past okay air signs and it seems like this person owes you a lot okay and even if you wanted to fight for your rights fight for whatever that you feel like you should be getting from from this person it seems like you have to go through you know some needle holes or you need to find a needle in a in a haystack so this person is very cruel okay i don't feel like there's real love there somewhere somehow and the you know the reason why they're gonna make it really they're, they're gonna make it so difficult for you is because you're the one who run away or you're the one to get away and they hate it when somebody walks out of their life they hate it when someone makes it out of their you know their den all right for them the people that they provide to the people that they marry the people that they are with are like slaves or it's like you know they treat them as non-equal and the reason why this person is like having this cruelty inside of them is because they cannot really believe that you are the one who had the strength to finally free yourself off from them okay um like what i said if you're going through some legal battles with this person expect that the fever will be in your side but then the vengeance will not yet you know end there i feel like this person will try to pull their one last trick okay just to win but unfortunately the court will see that you're the real victim here and then they will be awarding you you know the uh, the verdict and the final judgment so don't worry about it some of you will also st so sorry some of you will start thinking more about a younger earth sign or an air sign from the past who's either a father or mother of your child but then some of you will just keep on moving okay um single virgos when it comes to your sex life it looks like you need to learn how to balance you don't really have that much let's say feelings or match for younger people or younger men or women but you always happen to end up with somebody really younger than you and it seems like they're the one who can really get you if you try to get on with somebody that is older than you or same age you don't seem to get along and you're the one who ended up you know leading the relationship and the uh, the older one seems to be very immature and childish or rather selfish but this month there is somebody that will be walking out of your life because it seems like you will be 
um, having some second thoughts about the person you're already with, okay, the one that you're in a relationship with but not domesticated with yet. You know, when I say um, singles, singles that are not yet married but already in a relationship, I'm not saying that single singles, okay, singles as in like zero love life. So, and if, um, if the cards actually apply to those singles with zero love life, um, then I, you know, I actually mention it. So, because someone made a comment that it doesn't really apply to all singles. Actually, single, that's already taken. And single, not as in not single, single. Okay? So, this month, the one that you're dating or the one that you've been seeing for the past few months will be walking away from you because of a third party. They will just create a drama, okay, that the... Um, they're just jealous or they're create a, an issue and just one single thing they're gonna flare out and um, you know create that as a reason for them to walk away but then at the end of this month you will somehow realize that the reason why they did that or throw that uh, drama in front of your face is because they just want to make a choice okay and you will see it in their social media that they are that there's already somebody else and it seems like this person is still going to be coming back into your life. But please have mercy on yourself. And, you know, um, I mean, you need to love yourself. Right after what this person have done to you and right after what you have gone through with this person, I just hope that you won't, you know, feel the need of um, accepting them back again. Okay. Now, when it comes to your health, migraines, um, headache, nausea, oh, and toothache. Um, some of you will be having some fever, um, sleeping for far too long. It's like you really want to catch some more sleep and you want to relax and regain your energy. Some of you need to blend in with the group, especially if you've been having some depression and been having some anxiety lately or panic attacks. Um, you know, blending in with a group of people will help you more rather than sulking in one corner. And I feel like gardening or getting involved in any earth-related activities will be helping you. Plus, be careful with your gums and with your teeth, okay? Also, opt out for some seafood diet this month. If you're not, you know, allergic to it. Let's take a look at your Oracle cards. Embrace the moment, strength, give back, choices, gratitude, study. Embrace the moment, embrace this day, this very moment, think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. Strength, strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. Give back. Today is a day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It is about giving back without any thoughts or expectation of getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. Choices when you accept responsibility for your life and the choices you make, you begin to tap into the power of your own spirit. You'll be able to listen to and appreciate the intuitive wisdom that's inside you and apply it positively and constructively to your outside world. <clears throat> Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Study. Spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn whether that's learning old things in a new way of, or learning something totally new. This is an important opportunity to expand your mind. 
Let's take a look at your month of November. Looks like you're you already won in this, you know. I mean, you'll be winning this court thing or legal thing this month of November. But somehow you're feeling a little bit unsatis I mean dissatisfied and lonely. Alright. Not to mention that some of you will be starting a new job, like what I said, you know, the last week of this month, the last week of last month, October. Finally, you will be starting a new beginning or new chapter this month. There's a new job that you're going to be getting. Congratulations to you. Now, to some of you <clears throat> who will be going through a new leaf or a new chapter of your life. You will be proving your worth and trying and will try to do your best, okay, to fit into the crowd. But don't try too hard. Just be yourself, be who you are, be open to changes and criticisms, okay, because that is how you're going to grow and that is how you're going to be earning respect, okay. Accept some healthy criticisms, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so you're still feeling a little bit dissatisfied and not so happy because, you know, like what I said, you're going to win, but the compensation that you're expecting, <clears throat> I don't feel like you're going to be getting the right amount or the right figure, okay? So you will still feel like, you know, I better let it go and I better, you know, just need to move on and uh, forget about this whole thing. Now, I just feel like... You know, you need to be a little bit more open, okay? And then like what the Oracle cards have advised you, that honor some gratitude, okay? Even though that there will be some three things that you'll be losing, people, situation, things, object, possession, you know, whatsoever, even though it's going to be hard for you to begin or to start all over again without these things in your life, you know, some things from the past will be coming back again and will be, you know, reworded or awarded back to you. So don't worry, okay? What's important is that try to let go of something that's already like giving you a lot of hurl and giving you a lot of um, struggles, okay? So you need to start looking more into your future, you know, start um, planning out your foundation again, how you're going to start and blueprint your, your future because eventually the rest of the month for you seems to be like very very good some of you who's looking for a new job you will be landing in a very good job with a good environment okay now there's no um there's no new beginnings that 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 doesn't really start with some struggles and uh mode of survival okay be that's why it's called new beginnings 
okay this will also be testing you to become even stronger smarter and will also exercise your intelligence and your um coping mechanisms okay but don't worry because there will be some supportive people and even bosses and management that will be coming your way and that will also be helping out in your new beginnings okay in fact that you will also be receiving an extra check during this month i feel like more likely an allowance from your new um you know new company new boss or something like that and you'll be very happy okay because ever since that you um signed a contract with this company there are a lot of like unexpected money that's been coming your way so good for you now to those of you who doesn't have any plans of leaving your job and you're still there it seems like there will be more and more signs you know that will be pointing you to a new direction and you can't really resist the change that's going to be coming your way because if you will not do or follow the signs and symbols the universe will be using its way okay to make you face the new direction so sometimes when the universe steps in you know that it you know that they use some harsh way in doing it so but i'm not saying that you're not going to make it okay sometimes when we are too comfortable in you know in something and when we are too comfortable in a place or a situation we don't want to move okay we resist the change but then this time you really have to embrace it now for those of you who will be starting a new job you will be digging up your old notes old files you know some of your old lessons you will also be taking an extra short course just to you know upgrade your skills and to you know like you really want to to, to show the management that they've made the right decision in hiring you for this position well no hiring you for this job and you can relax you know you don't have to feel so pressured because you're over the end you just need to maintain it all right and you're gonna love this new beginnings that you're about to face and that you're about to embark love life hmm. you know looks like some of you is already with a water sign um there will be some things that you will be you know like coming into like you know into balance and you will try to see if it's really feasible or not um some virgos will also find out that they are pregnant during this month but then you're you don't want to tell your either your husband or your partner or whoever you're with right now because you're not yet sure if you you know if you really want to push it through or not but you know what babies that's god's gift okay so i hope that you will try to at least think the right way and do the right thing okay um even though that you're a little bit emotionally down and depressed because of your partner not really showing enough emotion you feel like sometimes you just want to take off okay you feel like you, sometimes you just want to be in your own and find someone else and now that you will know that you now that you will find out that you're also pregnant then it seems like it's not really you know meant to be for you to go away or to at least um you know take on a new relationship or take on a new person in your life um you know i feel like the only thing that you've been struggling with in your relationship is because you don't really talk you don't really say out loud whatever that's inside of you and both of you are very in denial about how you really feel especially if you're with another pisces or with an actually pisces and cancers even though they are both water signs they're you know they're different okay um pisces it's so hard to to spell them out cancer sometimes they say it's okay but it's not okay okay so you have to learn how to read their body language what does it really say versus the words that they really let out that's you know you can really get the truth from their body language and not from their words so i feel like some of you will also have a hard time forgiving your partner for something that happened in the past especially that there has been some infidelities or betrayals 
Okay. Um, some of you will also be dealing with your spouse um, revelations. Um, that there is somebody that they have been supporting for like a certain period of time. Or that they are somebody that they, uh, you know, impregnated. So this is something that will really, really hurt you. And that, you know, it will make you feel devastated. But some, you know, some of you, most of you will be, um, especially if you're a female Virgo, um, you'll find out that you are pregnant during this month. Okay. Now, singles. And the drama continues. Now, some of you, it looks like you already know where you really stand in this person's life, especially that... This person is older than you and you know that they're already married or you know that there's already somebody else in the picture and you don't want to make any demands. Now, you're thinking about cutting off everything thoroughly, you know, or totally out of this person's life or cutting you, no, cutting yourself totally from this person's life and that you can't really see yourself having a family with this one. But then there is a person from the past that will be coming back into your life. This is a fire sign. Double fire. Okay. Um, even though both of you love each other. Even though both of you can really sense that you have true feelings for one another. The problem here is this person is very unstable. Very um, finicky. And loves to make changes even though there's no need to make any changes. So this is going to be the problem that you will be facing, okay? One that you, um, some of you will be leaving a very complicated situation and some of you will be facing a very complicated person, all right? Now, immune system, it seems like you will also have some problems with your ears, ringing in your ears, redness in your ears, and allergies, you know, in your ears, and I also feel like some of you will be dealing with some dandruff issues or over itchiness or scalp psoriasis. Okay, so be very careful about that. You need to also detoxify and cleanse your system with the um, virgin coconut oil or some, you know, um, coconut juice. You know, for your, that's good for your kidney. Um, and some of you has been dealing with depression. It's much better for you to go and to go out and mingle with some other people, you know, and, um, um, you know, corn coffee, corn silk, um, anything that's a product of corn. Okay. It's going to be good for you. Good for your, um, heart, stomach, um, colon, kidney and gallbladder okay and some of you will be dealing with some high blood pressure knee problems hip problems um carpal tunnel oh and you're gonna find some you know like small hard bumps or lumps in your body and it's not just one you're going to find out that there are several in your body. So it's much better for you to go and check out with your doctor what exactly is causing it and what it is. Okay. Some of you need to take care of your bones, your breast, and, um, you know, um, take some calcium supplement. And you also need to change your eating lifestyle or your food lifestyle. And some of you need to stop smoking, especially that you've been having some problems with your mouth and with your nose and throat. All right. Let's take a look at your oracle cards for this month. Let go, take a moment, vulnerability, ground yourself, intuitive nudges, gratitude. 
Let go. Once you let go of the outcome, you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have held you back in the past. Trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and will do everything in our power to protect you. Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Especially for those who's, uh, you know, about to file for a divorce. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. Vulnerability, this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown and familiar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. Yeah, sometimes you just need to let your weak side or soft side, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Ground yourself being distracted, unfocused, tired, and irritated in a patient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now's the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with the divine source. Intuitive nudges, intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. Gratitude life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Finally, moving on to the month of December. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you know, month of December seems to be much better for everyone. Well, I am not yet done with the rest of the signs, but for some reason, I feel like December will be more of a better month than November. Okay. Well, we only have... You know, um, December. And I feel like the next retrograde in 2020 will be starting around January. Well, I'm not really sure. I have to check it out again.
right. This month of December... It, it, you know, um, it seems there will be a success that's going to be coming your way, but then you will also be going through some transition as you'll find out that one of your friends who's a water sign will be betraying you. Okay, right at the time that you are starting all over again and starting to build your foundation, your life, and yourself, you will find out that your friend or your so-called friend has been relating something to your ex. Okay, and... You, you know, you have your full trust and you've been like trusting this person that they were on your side, that you're their friend. And unfortunately, they only stand as a spy for your spouse has been planning to go on, uh, let's say, you know, try, we'll try to get back at you. You know, this dynamic deal of fire in the air. Okay. Um... You will be consulting your family about this this time because you just want it to be, you know, even though the verdict is not really what you really, you know, how you really want it to be, but just for the sake of letting it go and getting it over and done with, you just accepted it. You did not really react it or counter file or whatever it is. But then this time, you know, this person that can't seem to get over you and will still be acting so cruel towards you will still be, you know, on to you, okay? Now, you will be um, asking a few friends, a few people from the past that you know that, or that you're in network with or that you're in friends with, and you will be asking for their, you know, advices, what's the best thing. And it seems like everyone will have the same opinion, okay? So one last thing is that you will be um, giving this person a call, this person from the past whom you really know as your soulmate and the one who can really understand you fully as you will be taking their final opinion or their final advice to you as your next move, okay? But in overall, I feel like your finances this month will be moving a little bit, okay? There will be some unexpected money from unknown resources that you will be receiving and you'll be very happy, there will also be an extra in your salary or like an you know like a like a bonus to your allowances and you will be very happy because you really need it at this point. Now, when it comes to your workplace, to some of you who's still there in your old workplace, there you need to have some stronger faith. You also need to declutter. You will also be upgrading your skills, going to take some short courses, going in a new training, or you will be volunteering, you know, to take some new trainings and new skills. Some of you will also be um, like, you know, that there will be some changes um, in your workplace that if you used to be in a, like a dead end corner of your office this, this month, there will be some movements and progress that your manager or your boss will be noticing you that you also need to have a break in another position and you will be celebrating. Now, there will be someone who will try to threaten you, somebody who also wants this position, but then even though, you know, like, uh, you know that you're very qualified and that you're more than willing to take on this, you know, this position, but you have to choose yourself, okay? You have to choose what, you have to make a choice for yourself, you have to do what's right, you have to do what you feel like should be suitable for you, okay? And this, you know, this whole thing, there will be some, let's say, sacrifices that you have to make. And some people that you need to cut off, let go, or go against with. Well, that's part of, you know, sometimes the success, you have to give up some in order for you to gain some. Anyway, um, and I also feel like you will be selling a major property, either it's a car or a house during this month, and there will be a final sale and final agreement with a check that you will be receiving. Don't get close to, you know, don't try to get too close to someone who will be listening to your woos and your venting out because it seems like this person will be 
you know, falling for you. If you're already married, it will, you know, it will spell out as a trouble. But if you're single, it will just complicate your job. Just, you know, keep them in the friend zone. I'm not saying that you should cut them off. Because they don't have any harm, you know, harmful intention. Or they don't have any dirty intention towards you. But, you know, you can't really help for this, per for this person to develop their awe into love. Okay, or something romantic. Now... Mm -mm -mm. When it comes to your love life, some of you who's already pregnant will have some second thoughts about your pregnancy. Please don't do that. Okay? And you feel like you just need to protect yourself more. You feel so alone in this relationship and you've been fighting a lot. You've been battling a lot. There has been some victory, but it's empty. Okay, now there's somebody from the past who will be ringing you back or who will be getting in touch with you and you don't know if this is really the right thing to or this is the right time for you to get back in touch with this person. But I feel like at the end of this month, you will just decide to finally move on and give it up. You don't want to complicate yourself more. Now, sex life. Looks like jealousy, drama, confrontations... Um, discovery of some third wheel, you know, that, you know, in cheating, physical cheating is painful, but emotional cheating and with sexual is much more painful, okay? Because it means that uh, your partner is giving their heart to somebody else and it's no longer yours. So this month, you will be discovering that it's both. Even though your partner is not ready to leave you, they're going to tell you that I'm not going to leave you, I'm not going to walk away, I'm not going to choose that person over you, blah, 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 blah. But you can see it in their actions that they're not really changing. So you, you know, instead of wallowing into depression, instead of feeling sorry for yourself and crying in one corner or crying overnight, you're not. Okay, you're not. You're going to prep up, you're going to face the mirror, talk to yourself, and ask, what is the thing that I really have to change? I really need to change my aura. I need to, you know, get back that beauty again. I need to have that zest and, uh, you know, um, increase my market value. So, even though you're, you're going to be in a lot of hurt. And some men say that when, you know, when a woman is brokenhearted, they tend to go to the salon and work on their hair. So you're going to be, you know, redoing yourself and you're going to be um, going for some total makeover. Okay. Well, you know, that's actually good because instead of you feeling so sorry for yourself, wallowing over what's built and... You know, like crying and crying and crying and asking why, you know, what does she have that I don't? You will be improving yourself more, okay? Your spouse will be surprised. And I feel like, actually, it's not just how you look. It's how you treat each other that made your partner turn away to another person, okay? It's your communications, now, when it comes to your health, looks like, well, I've already said that you will be concentrating more on your exterior looks and you will try to make yourself more radiant and beautiful during this time. And you will also be having some, either it's a nose job or something about your skin. And some of you who's been thinking of breast augmentation, this is definitely not the month yet. Wait for next year. Okay, some of you will be delivering babies or you will have a very active pregnancy. Okay, um, you will also start noticing that your weight is doubling as the day goes by. And some of you will also have a problem sitting for far too long or you can't really stay up for too long as well. Um, some of you will also find your ankles swollen okay uh, it's because of your kidney aside from that high blood pressure heart um illnesses or heart ailments and brain related well stress 
mental stress related um i feel like this will also be coming your way around the third week of this month okay but you will find much more comfort in having peace of mind with your spouse okay because you know the stress is coming from that part anyway not from anything else financially i feel like the two of you are doing okay you don't really have to worry too much about it Okay, study, stay connected, dream talk, stand your ground, gratitude, memories. Study spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. And I've already said this, that you will be, some of you will be upgrading your skills and you'll be volunteering to go on a training. Okay, from time to time, it's important to go back and learn whether it's that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. Stay connected. We're all born connected to spirit, often known as a divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. Dream talk, your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with. You through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it, and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. Gratitude. Life is one big continuous circle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life instead of complaining about what you don't have. If you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Memories. Your memories are like diamonds in the treasure chest of your spirit. More and more memories are arising within you. Remember the happier moments with your loved ones who are here in the spirit world. For neither time nor distance can stop the energy of love that you have for one another. Anyway, so that's it for the last three months of the year for you, Virgo. And... If you want to talk to me live at the phone and live at the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net, okay? And by the way, for those who's new to my website, it's not a booking system. It's a queue system, okay? So whenever you're free, whenever you're available to talk, just get in the queue, okay? And whenever I get online at the time indicated in my page, I will be calling you or the system will be patching your number to mine so that we can talk, all right? Blessings to you and have a great year ahead.